When I first started my lab, I had a family friend who developed ovarian cancer. And I'm familiar with cancer and there's different types. And ovarian cancer is very puzzling because it's so deadly. About 70% of the patients that develop ovarian cancer will have recurrence, and recurrence is almost fatal. One of the challenges is people are diagnosed pretty late stage, which means there's already cancer all over the IP space. Then the other challenge with it is that the nature of the cancer is it kind of creates a lot of fluid around it and puts a lot of pressure in kind of your stomach area. And so getting drugs there is really difficult. So we started on this path of how do we actually come up with innovative ways to deliver drugs. And the nature of it kind of suggested to me that you almost need like a drug factory just because of there's already a lot of volume. If you administer drugs, you need to add more volume. So we thought, you know, why not think about these beads that can kind of just sit there in that fluid and actually produce the drug that we want to activate the immune system. This was my project pretty much on like the second day of my, after joining the lab. I basically said I want to turn on and turn off the immune system and we said okay let's start with trying to figure out how to turn it on. We started pretty much from scratch. We had the ability to put cells into spheres and we had the ability to engineer some cells and then we figured out how to sort of put them together, engineer the cells to make enough of whatever protein or whatever drug that we were interested in and then encapsulate and really test them. So we've now programmed cells these are cells that are safe and have previously been used in human clinical trials. They're engineered to produce our immune effector molecules, interleukin-2 in this case, and then we protect them by material that allows the cells to reside in that location of the intraperitoneal space for a predetermined and programmed amount of time because we want the therapy to be transient to activate the immune system and then shut off safely. And that's the purpose of the beads, is to keep the cells localized and also protect them for that temporary duration of about 15 to 30 days, where we anticipate is going to be required to educate the immune system. Whenever we give a large enough dose of the IL-2 or the number of spheres, um, we're able to see a reduction in um, the extent of tumor burden or the amount of tumor cells that are alive and um, healthy inside the mice and we're also able to actually um, sort of verify our hypothesis by using flow cytometry uh, where we see that there's much greater percentages of activating or proliferating T cells which are really really key for um, a cancer therapeutic. We've started a company called Avenge Bio. We're really excited to work with the company to help bring uh, these discoveries to humans and the company has been making progress uh, over the last uh, several years. We've had multiple meetings with the FDA and we hope to begin human clinical trials in the latter half of 2022. It's really exciting to, see, to have seen the project go so far. Um, whenever I first started it was kind of just an idea on the shelf and then we really uh, we were able to make it happen. So we started off with just mice that didn't have cancer and then we moved to mice that did have cancer. Um, then now we've even tested it in rats and non-human primates and Obviously humans are the end goal and that's sort of the next step on the way. So it's really exciting to be a part of the entire process.